This is A Day in the Word with Minister William Ryan. I pray that the Word today will enrich your lives. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will do something great and mighty in your lives from today. God bless you. We're going to take a quick look today at uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, the Watchtower Bible and Track Society. Okay, um, Charles Taze Russell was the founder of this movement in the 1870s. And now this movement is, is close to about 20 million members uh, at present. Okay, uh, let's look at something. Romans 10, verse 1 through 4. Brethren, my heart desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved, for I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness have not submitted to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness and everyone who believes. And this is one of the scriptures that um, the Jehovah's Witnesses would use. Um, when they come to your home and want to have a Bible study, um, they would use, this This is just one of the scriptures. Um, they call themselves witnesses, Jehovah's Witnesses. And I'm sure that you have um, encountered them at some point or the other. But this particular scripture here is taken out of context. They would say to you that, you know, they need to um, come in and, and speak with you the approach is to talk about um, social things, um, what you think about the world today, and the events in the world, and what and how can we um, be saved in a sense or have the knowledge as to how to deal with the things and to expect um, a better a better tomorrow. Okay. Um, however, the Watchtower and Bible Society. Um, has claimed has claimed many times many things should happen. In one instance, in uh, 1914, it claimed that the world would end. And I'm telling you, 1914, we're in uh, the year 2014, and we are still here. That is one of. Um, just one of the claims, one of the, the prophetic claims that um, the Watchtower Society has made. I can tell you, I looked at the list of um, prophecies from the Watchtower Society or the Jehovah's Witnesses, and it, it was close to 100. And none of those prophecies has ever come to pass. Okay? And now that that's that's a thought. That is something to think about. None of these prophecies so far has come to pass. And um, let's 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 look at something. Okay, before we go any further, uh, let us establish that the Bible is the Word of God. And if I must follow the teaching of the JWs, just for short, and the Watchtower Society is the prophet of God. That is what it, it claims. That the Watchtower Society is the prophet of God, and if so, then we have a problem because when we apply the test of the prophet, now there is a test. When we apply the test of the prophet to the Watchtower magazine, we find it to be lacking in accuracy, and so must be deemed as false. And as considered by the JWs, it is like a prophet declaring Jehovah's will to mankind. That is why they push this magazine so much, because as far as they're concerned, it's a prophetic voice. It tells you um, about life events. It tells you what to look forward to. It tells you about the coming kingdom, according to um, 
their, their theology. Continue, uh, here is the test of the prophet, Deuteronomy 18, 20 to 22. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that prophet shall die. And if you say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is, the thing which the Lord has not spoken, the prophet has spoken it presumptuously, you shall not be afraid of him. So my friends, I think that passage is, is basically clear. Tell you, it tells you if a prophet speaks a word and it does not come to pass, that prophet is false. Like I've stated before, there are over a hundred prophecies or just about a hundred prophecies because there is a lot, right? That um, Jehovah's Witnesses has made, the, the, the organization has made and none of them has come to pass. From, from 18... 77 to 1995, that is a span of time which they have made their prophecies, okay? And uh, unfortunately for them, nothing has happened. You see, it, it is bad enough to have one prophecy fail, but a host of prophetic statements is more than enough to show you a falsehood in the Watchtower Society. Okay, and let me read an excerpt from um, a publication um, published in 1888. In this chapter, we present the Bible evidence proving that the full end of the times of the Gentiles, the full end of their lease of dominion, will be reached in AD 1914. And that and that the date will be the farthest limit of the rule of imperfect men. And be it observed that if this is shown to be a fact firmly established by the scriptures, it will prove, firstly, that all that date, the kingdom of God, for which our Lord taught us to pray, saying, Thy kingdom come will obtain full universal control and that it will then be set up or firmly established in the earth on the ruins of present institutions. This is from The Time is at Hand, 1888, page 76 and 77. This is something that was written, written by the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, apparently the Kingdom of God or the New Jerusalem should have come to earth at that point and it would, would have been established um, somewhere that never happened. Okay, now we know that the church was built on the foundation of Jesus Christ and at one point the Roman Catholic Church had the authority for the teaching of the Bible and what God has to say to us. Now let's get into this. Easter is a contention between the Catholics and the, Jehovah, and the Jehovah's Witnesses, but it should not be as pertaining to Christians and that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. For we do not believe in Easter, but celebrate the Passover. Easter was named after a pagan goddess. Let me just, just hold that there for, 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 for a minute. Now we know that Jehovah's Witness uh, movement, they have a problem with um, Catholicism and we find that a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses were ex-former um, Catholics. We know that they go after the theology, they go after the fact that they pray to Mary. And um, Easter, which like I said, we know that it, it has pagan origins. Uh, we don't, as, as, as believers in Christ, as born again believers, we don't believe in Easter, we believe in the Passover. So because the Passover and Easter comes right around the same exact time, um, and the church somehow incorporated um, the saying 
Easter. But that's when uh, pagans were being converted to, to Christianity. They came in with certain things, and I think to make them comfortable, they adopted um, the name. But we do not celebrate Easter. We do not believe in bunnies, Easter eggs, all that stuff is pagan. We, we don't worship that. We don't even pay that any attention. Okay, so <clears throat> that is not a sticking point. That is not even a contention, not even an argument. We go down to look at um, Christmas, the very same thing again. Um, the, the, the date was a date that they worshipped the sun god. We know that, but this date was used to commemorate the um, birth of Jesus Christ. And so, because of this, that's another contention with the Je Jehovah's Witnesses. But we don't celebrate the date. We commemorate the, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's what we do. We, we, we thank God for sending His Son, and we just commemorate that date. They don't want to do it, that's fine. But those of you who want to continue to commemorate and remember that, that God sent His Son into this world, you continue to do so. Um, now, the Bible says that Jesus is God. He is a part of the Godhead. And so as the, as the JWs are concerned, there are questions to his deity, humanity, and divinity. Again, they argue about that, the fact that Jesus is not God. Jesus is the Son of God and therefore is not on the same level with God. But remember, Jesus was accused of making himself equal with God. At one point he said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. I and the Father are one. Um, these people, uh, Charles, Taze, Russell, and them, who did not agree with what was written in Scripture, wanted to change things to suit themselves. Now look at the fact that they have about 20 thousand, 20, sorry, 20 million followers. Uh, you need to learn to think for yourself. You need to look at the scripture. Don't add to it. Don't take away from it. You ask the Holy Spirit, ask God um, to, to, to enlighten you as to what is written there. You study, you, you, you use scripture to interpret scripture. I believe that the, the scriptures are clear. They are plain. You don't add to it. And the problem with mankind is the fact that they don't want to accept what is written there. Um, I'll go ahead and, and, and even say that, you know, there's, there's a problem with, with hell, the doctrine of hell. They don't want to think that God, a holy God, a merciful and righteous God will send, send man to hell. But the Bible tells you that the soul that sin will surely die. And it, it, it warns you about um, hellfire. It's there. It's written. And um, that's what's going to happen. Okay. Um, now, a man's heart is fearful concerning that doctrine of hell. We know that. It's a fearful thing to think that you are going to end up in, 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 in hell, in fire. Um, also, there's another situation here, um, another bone of contention. 144,000. The Bible clearly states those are of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. I don't know why or where this contention came from or why this man thought that, um, you know, pick that to, 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 to establish his, 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 his doctrine. But clearly, that's what the Bible um, is speaking of. It says from, from the 12 tribes of Israel, that's gonna, that the whole number is going to be 144,000. To me, there is not even an argument where that one is concerned. Okay. Um, and Charles Russell thought that in, in um, 1874 that the second coming of Christ took place. The Bible says that when he comes out, all eyes shall see him. But somehow he thought that this was going to be an invisible um, thing. So he was going to come and be among us, and we do not know. That's not what the scriptures say. Okay, uh, Moving right along, Charles uh, Russell, uh, he taught that the Holy Spirit was not a person. And he had a problem accepting the Trinity. Again, I did um, a video on the Trinity. I would um, admonish you, encourage you to go back and take a look at it. The Trinity is scriptural. Uh, the Trinity is God. It's the Godhead, even in Genesis, right in the beginning. He said, let us. I'm not going to get into it, but he said, let us make man. 
who was God talking to? Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, they conferred. Let us, the three of us, who, are, who, who is the one God, let us make man. So let's continue here. Um, also, too, the, 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 this is a restorationist type movement where they wanted to, to, to restore, uh, according to them, they wanted to restore Christianity and the Bible back to, from, from where it was at the time, wanted to restore it back to some predated time. Okay? And the scriptures, as the King James Version Bible, as it was, was not good enough. And because they wanted things to sound the way they wanted it to sound, they went ahead and um, they created their own Bible. It is called the New World Translation or the Holy Scriptures. Now, they might say that there is no difference in what they have written and what was there before, but there are subtle differences. There are some places where you you have um, a, 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 an uppercase G for God. They have replaced that with a lowercase G. There's subtle differences, but, it, but, the, but, but the differences are there. And those are for emphasis, because if you take an uppercase G, which means God Almighty, and you put a lowercase G, that means the lesser God. And we know that. So let's, let's, let's just, just continue. So just for information's sake, those are the things that the, the differences and the fact that um, they have a problem with Jesus as who he is, uh, whether he is God, whether he's the son of God, all these things, they, they, they create contention out of. Um, okay. Um, let me say, what is written in the Bible is too challenging for mankind. So you will find that people who want to live as they please are going to find a problem with it. Now the claim is that the Bible has been corrupted over time and therefore needed to be set right. And so you will find people like Charles Taze Russell with the New World Translation, Awake, and the Watchtower magazines are trying to convince men that the Bible is wrong. Okay, the Bible does not need any other document to be placed alongside it. If you notice, you see them on the street, the Watchtower magazine or the Awake magazine is up. They don't have the Bible showing to you. That is what they show you, the Watchtower or the Awake magazine. This is the, the prophetic voice of the Watchtower society. Okay, we use the Bible. The Bible is complete. It's the Word of God. And so we need to put nothing else beside it. Okay, now Joseph Smith, let me just interject quickly here, Joseph, Joseph Smith um, Sr. and Joseph Smith Jr., right, with the Pearl of Great Price and the Book of Mormons, also felt that restoration was in order. And so we see that these cults are born out of the need for something better than what God and the Bible has to offer because man is not willing to accept the harsh truth of the Bible. Let's quickly look at 2 Timothy 3.16. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. It is clear, the Bible needs nothing else to be added to it. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I pray today that you will realize that the source of life is found in the Bible and that many are going to find themselves in hell because of the deception that Satan has brought on the world through the teachings of false religions and prophets. Do not follow the teachings of men who are looking for fame, notoriety, and who, whose only objective is to heap praise and worship to themselves. Remember, Satan was cast out of heaven for this very reason. And I will leave you with this blessing from the book of Numbers. Numbers 6, 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you 
peace. Mm-hmm.